Stepford County Railway was started in 2017, with Connect being its first ever line. Connect has many hints and secrets that are hidden in plain sight, but if you don't know how to look for them, you never think about it. But in this video, I'm going to be teaching you 30 secrets about Stepford Connect that you didn't know. Number one is that Connect was the original line on Stepford County Railway when it opened back in 2017. This was soon later joined by Waterline, but it was officially the original line in Stepford County Railway. When leaving Stepford East, you can find the Stepford Connect headquarters. It is in between the line between Stepford Central and Stepford East. All you have to do is walk along the base plate. Here I am trespassing, but you can walk from Stepford Central to the Connect headquarters by itself and then you'll find it. There's also a nice observation deck on top for observing trains. Connect has the most depots located on its line in the game. If you click on a train and you click on a route to drive, there are the most depots you'll ever find in Stepford County Railway on here. Staying in the menu for secret number four. The Class 68 is the only train that if you buy it requires experience. This makes it considered the pro train because you actually have to play the game and can't buy your way to this train. At Stepford Central, if you go to the left from the main approach road entrance, go under the viaduct and make a left, you'll see this platform 9 and 3 quarters sign. And you know what that means? If you go through the brick wall adjacent to the viaduct, you will be taken through the wall and underneath Stepford Central. And as you can see here, this is a little touch for a free badge. I already have the badge, but then it'll say that once you touch it. Here at Whitefield, Whitefield is the only station on Stepford Connect to have a train directly stored inside the station. Right here, across from Platform 3, you can see that the, the Class 170 is parked right next to the platforms here. If you're a dispatcher, you'll notice that for some reason, Hot and Rake is a dispatchable station, even though this is a very limited use station with only one route stopping at it. This is a dispatchable station with off indicators. It's not really known why, but this, this station did used to have a lot more services than it does now, so that could be a cause of it. Here at Woodhead Lane, this is the only station on the SCR network to have staggered platforms. As you can see, platform one is over there on one side of the road, and we're here on platform two on the other side of the road. This trait used to be shared by Ashland Park, but that changed when the line got upgraded after the James Street extension. So now, this is the only line to have staggered platforms. The only station, Woodhead Lane. Here at Stepford United Football Club, if you go to the center platform and come to the Stepford bound side, you'll notice that there is a rusty lamp post in the grass. This was confirmed by a developer to be from the football club, which is just over there, this building right here, that football fans threw this lamp post into the grass a long time ago, and that's why it's here. We're here at Whitefield Lido, and you can actually walk from Whitefield Lido over back to Stepford United Football Club. So let's go and test it out right now. And here we are at Stepford UFC. Just a quick walk up the road. Here we are at Stepford High Street, which I'm pretty sure is one of the only stations to have that red National Rail logo right outside. Usually it's white, but actually Stepford High Street is named after the High Street Shopping Mall, which is right over here. It's the Stepford High Street Shopping Center. It's this very big building right here, and that's where Stepford High Street gets its name from. We're now approaching City Hospital in a train, and you can see the buildings next to City Hospital are actually spelling out NHS. NHS stands for the National Health Service, which is the healthcare system in the UK. We're now at Beachley, and if you look down the platforms, you can see that there's some sidings over there. Those are called the Beachley sidings. But the weird thing is they don't serve Beachley at all, which is usually what a siding would be. It would pull out into the station that its corresponding name is. 
It actually serves the Stepford City area and does not even come back to Beachley unless you were to turn around at, say, Stepford Victoria. So earlier we were over at Stepford United Football Club, which is where the Stepford United Football Club is, and now we're here at Hemden Park, and this is actually home to the Hemden Park Rangers, which is a football club as well. Here we are at Willowfield, and you can actually walk from Willowfield to Whitefield. The fields, you can walk between the fields without trespassing. So let's go ahead and do that now. And as you can see coming up right ahead, we have just walked from Willowfield to Whitefield without trespassing. Here we are at Financial Quarter. Or is it Willowfield? Well, originally, the name for Financial Quarter was going to be Willowfield, but then they decided to change it to Financial Quarter. And then, when they built the Willowfield branch, they then used the name Willowfield for the station there. They also used Beachley, which was originally going to be City Hospital's name, over there for the Beachley Station, and then Hemden Park was just thrown in there. But that's what came from Financial Quarter's name. We're here at Stepford Victoria, and Stepford Victoria has the most platforms for a station that only has one single operator. There are six platforms at Stepford Victoria. Some of them will get busy because of a lot of the noob trains coming in from the free routes, but this station usually does not get that much utilization, so it also is kind of shocking how there's six platforms here. You'll never see them full unless they're flooding Stepford Victoria. We're just about to approach St. Helens Bridge, and there's going to be a special announcement that plays when we pull in. Early. Due to a short platform, passengers for New Harrow and Ellesmere Pond should travel in the front four coaches. That announcement plays because at New Harrow and Ellesmere Pond, the platform is short. And that means that the PS passengers in the fifth coach will not be able to get off the train. Due to a short platform, the doors in the rear coach will not open at this station. Please move forward to leave the train. We're here at Angel Pass, which while containing a lot of ticket machines, also contains an abnormal thing here. This is the largest sign on the Stepford Connect network, tied with Millcastle Racecourse, but still the largest sign on the network. This is pretty big. We're now here at Bowden, where this statue over here looks pretty innocent. The Hazard 9, an ex-community director and experienced developer of SCR, founder of Visit Bowden, and many of the shop's experiences around the map. There's actually a secret badge you can get here. If you climb on top of the hazard, you will get a badge. Now, I already have the badge, but if you touch this hat here, you will get yourself a special badge saying that you have climbed on top of the statue at Bowden. We're now here at Coxley. If you follow this little nondescript path, which one I would only recommend doing in a private server, I do not know if this is considered trespassing, but I would only recommend doing this in a private server. You're going to jump down, you're going to follow this path. Lamp posts will also help guide you. But we're going to find a special sign of a defunct line that was supposed to be an SCR, but was eventually scrapped. If you turn left here, you'll see on the brick wall, there's randomly a rusty metro sign here. This could be a reference to Coxley Newtown, which is right down the road right there. But we'll never know, but this is a cool nod to a defunct line that never came to be. Welcome to Benton. Here is the only station in the game where you can find terminating platforms heading in both directions. So here, this buffer is heading out towards Port Benton and that area. But if you look in the distance, right there, you can kind of see the glow of the sticks above. That is actually another buffer which is heading in the opposite direction towards Stepford area. That's pretty cool. The next station is Benton Bridge. 
This one actually isn't inside the station, even though I like that cool Connect logo on top. It's actually over here to the right. It's not really a secret, but it's just this little cute picnic area that I think is really cool, where you can watch the trains come into Benton Bridge Station and go out to the airport and all beyond. There's not much to know about here at Hampton Hargate, but there is something about its history which is pretty cool. Hampton Hargate was originally supposed to be a super hub between Stepford Connect, Stepford Express, Metro, and High Speed. All in one station, it was going to have eight platforms, and it was going to be right here where the station is today. But, for unknown reasons, it was eventually scrapped. This is assumed to be because it is very close to both Benton and Morganstown, two very giant hubs. Morganstown is actually the only hub in the game with all four lines serving it, but you can see that Hampton Hargate is now just this little station with two unused platforms, two unused platforms on the Express and Airlink tracks, but otherwise it's a really cute station, but there's not much scenery around. Here we are at Upler Staplo, a classic in the FCR community for its abandoned platforms which still exist out on the high speed lines, but we're going to walk to Airport Terminal 2 from here. It's right this direction, so let's go ahead and do a speed it up walk. Here we have arrived at Terminal 2, serviced by Connect, Airlink, and of course Waterline. But we're not going to talk much about the station. This will be coming in the secrets of Airlink, coming out very soon. But anyways, let's move on to the next station. Here we are at Water Newton. Here at Water Newton, I think is one of the most unique station names I've ever seen. We're going to come over here from the station, you're going to come down this little side road, take a left, and you're going to see right here at the end is Chili Face Emoji. I don't know where this came from or who did this, but it's definitely a unique one. Do they have an affiliation with the country of Chile? I don't know. We'll see. We're here at Rocket Parade which is actually home to Bantech Systems. If you don't know who Bantech is, he is the main developer of SCR, and it is in coordination with SCR that Bantech Systems runs the game. But Rocket Parade is actually a reference to how the Bantech, the person who runs Bantech Systems, is actually planning on being a rocket scientist later in life. It's pretty cool. Now we're on the section of the line where I am going to be skipping some stations to save for the Airlink Secrets video and the Express Secrets video coming out very soon, but we're here at Leighton West, which is a Stepford Connect only station. That's why we're doing it. So here at Leighton West is actually the only station to have an approach speed limit of 15 miles an hour. Lynn by the Sea used to have one, but eventually that was removed, and then Morganstown had one on the high level approach, Waterline Shuttle was put in. But you can see if I come over here, again I'm in a VIP server, the approach to the station is a clean 15 miles an hour. Here we are at Millcastle Racecourse. This is the station that contains the longest name in all of SCR for two words. It is 20 characters, Millcastle Racecourse home of the grandstand but this is also the station where we have those previously mentioned super long super big station signs like why are they so big they don't need to be this big but it's the same as angel pass so i guess we'll never know and finally we are here at mill castle in mill castle you can see that platforms two and three no trains stop here so you would assume that nothing happens here but they actually still play the announcements, like there's no yellow lines or anything. They still play announcements for trains that don't stop here. It's a little strange considering that, again, no trains stop here. It says it right on the sign. So really you'd think that this announcements won't play, but they do. 
But anyways, that's just going to about wrap it up for me in this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more SCR content just like this, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I also play other games, but right now I'm just going to be focusing on Stepford County Railway. But anyways, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoy. I'm Mouse Plays. It's been magical, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.